Congress officially filing impeachment charges against anti-Trump politician than unthinkable happens. President Trump is the deep state's biggest enemy. While Trump may be quite alone in his quest to drain the swamp, he does have some allies on the Hill. Members of the Freedom Caucus have been assisting Trump in his battle with Mueller and his band of Democrats in charge of the witch hunt that after two years has produced zero evidence of Russian collusion. A few months ago, Freedom Caucus leaders Mark Meadows and Jim Jordan filed impeachment charges against Deputy U.S. Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. The reason for the filing was because Rosenstein hadn't handed over enough documents that had been asked for. In July Vox reported, Hardline conservatives have backed down from a threat to imminently force a House vote on impeaching Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. On Wednesday night, Freedom Caucus leaders Reps. Mark Meadows, RNC, and Jim Jordan, RO, filed articles of impeachment against Rosenstein. The stated reason was mainly that Rosenstein allegedly wasn't giving enough documents to Congress. But in context, the move, which wasn't even certain to pass the House, let alone lead to Rosenstein's removal from office, was clearly part of an effort by President Trump's allies to attack the Justice Department and undermine special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation, which Rosenstein supervises. When Meadows filed the impeachment articles, only 11 of the 236 Republicans in the House were willing to sign on to them, making it unclear how much support his effort had. House Oversight Committee Chair Trey Gowdy, for instance, had said earlier that he wouldn't back the effort, impeach him for what? He asked. GOP leaders were also unenthusiastic about the controversial push, which would likely divide their party. However, Meadows had the opportunity to use House rules to file a privileged motion, which would require a vote from the full House in the next two days, effectively forcing his colleagues to take a stand on impeaching Rosenstein even though there have been no hearings on the matter and little debate about it. Republicans facing tough races in November would not have been thrilled. In the end, However, Meadows decided not to carry out that threat, for now, at least. He did not file a privileged motion for impeachment, and House Republicans announced Thursday morning that they would not vote on the matter before they leave for a month-long recess. It is possible the effort could be revived in September when the House returns to Washington. But that would be closer to the midterms, meaning Republicans would be even less enthusiastic to take a divisive and controversial vote. The current word is that Republican leaders agreed to hold a vote on whether Rosenstein is in contempt of Congress in the first week of September, if conservatives don't get the documents they want by then. That's a weaker alternative to an impeachment vote, which at least had the potential to remove him from office. After conservatives had agreed to back down from the impeachment push, Speaker Paul Ryan announced publicly that he did not support impeaching Rosenstein. I don't think that this rises to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors, he said. Meanwhile, Word leaked out that Jordan, who co-wrote the impeachment articles, will soon announce that he's running to replace the retiring Ryan as speaker. Now, this could be seen as bad news in the fight against the deep state, but there is a little hope. Last month, leaked audio of Rep. Devin Nunes seemed to indicate that Rosenstein could be impeached at a later date. The timing was wrong for it. USA Today reported. Leaked audio of Rep. Devin Nunes, Republican California. Speaking at a Republican dinner fundraiser made public Thursday evening shows the congressman addressing why Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein hasn't been impeached and saying that Republicans could be the only force stopping President Donald Trump from being impeached. The audio, obtained exclusively by MSNBC, is of Nunes talking at a dinner event in Spokane, Washington, on July 30. He is asked by an audience member about the effort to impeach Rosenstein, which was only publicly supported by a small group of Republicans. Nunes, who heads the House Intelligence Committee, seems to explain the main reason Congress hasn't taken up the issue is due to timing and the upcoming midterm elections. It's a bit complicated, he told the audience member. We only have so many months left. So if we actually vote to impeach, okay, what that does is that triggers the Senate then has to take it up, he said, explaining that it could take away from other priorities of Congress. He said everything would have to be dropped if impeachment was up for a vote. So it's not a matter that any of us like Rosenstein. It's a matter of, it's a matter of timing. Do you want them to drop everything and not confirm the Supreme Court justice, the new Supreme Court justice? He added. Later, he talks about the midterms and the sincere need to keep a Republican majority in both the House and Senate, something Democrats are hoping to clinch. Nunes details one big reason Republicans are needed, to protect Trump. Let's hope Republicans in the House follow through and do their part to drain the swamp and get rid of those who are biased against Trump. That was the news.
We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.